20th of September 2018. Maribor 2, Chelsea 2. 29th of September 2018. Chelsea 4, Maribor 1. 14th of March 2019. Chelsea 1, Maribor 2. 21st of March 2019. Maribor 0, Chelsea 1. Maribor win on away goals. 20th of October 2020. Maribor 0, Chelsea 3. 4th of November 2020. Chelsea 3, Maribor 2. Overall aggregate result, Chelsea 18, Maribor 6. everybody welcome back to the nk maribor save thanks for joining again and once again we're playing chelsea which is a running theme in this series we just can't see i think one season in europe since we've been in europe i think it's one season where we haven't played them and that yeah just ridiculous isn't it but again we invite chelsea and roman abramovich and all of his merry men to slovenia and well yeah Let's see how we do. Since Madrid, we drew 0-0 with Radomilj, which was disappointing. We absolutely bossed them, but we got to Kak sent off and two injuries to Hernandez and Bradley Dak, which hasn't helped the situation. Um, they are still ahead of us. No, we're ahead of them in the league because we beat Domzali 3-2 with our game in hand. We went 1-0 up through Duncan Watmore, who is on a hot goal-scoring streak at the moment. They then scored two in three minutes through Kesic, 51st and 54th. Gave them a bit of a team talk during the game, made some subs, bought Misovic and Bojan on, and they both repaid my faith and got the goals, which was very, very nice of them. Other than that, that's all we've done, and we're back for Chelsea. This is going to be a two-game episode, going back to a bit of the normal way we do things around here. This is going to be Chelsea and Triglav in the quarterfinal, and then the next episode will be the same games again, Chelsea and Triglav. Yeah, not much else to discuss, really. We've picked up some injuries, if I show you the unavailable list and sort it by information. Here we go. So Loftus-Cheek is injured, Trigovsky is injured as we know, Rolando Ahrens has picked up an injury and Paulak is also injured. Coming back from injury, Hernandez has passed the fitness test and has said the physio said he's fine to play, which is good. As has, um, what's his name, why can't I see him, there he is, Lise Moussa as well. He's been injured but he's also come back. And has been given the all clear by the physio. Annoyingly, if we look at these injuries, in injuries, injuries, Rolando Aaron's broken his ankle out for three months. International duty. Thanks for that, Jamaica. Um, Trigovsky was in our game. Ruben Loftus cheek, four weeks with a hernia. That's always good fun. And William Powellak, five months with Achilles tendon issues. Fucking brilliant. I swear, I can never ever get luck in this game. If it's the Champions League that fucks me over, it fucks me over. If it's injuries that fuck me over, they fuck me over massively. But we've got players that are available and we're going to go into the game. So I will see you at the game day. Okay, so welcome back. This is how we line up. What I've done, if I move myself again, is we've gone with a 4-1-3-2. It is the exact formation, other than the strikers being the other way around, it's the exact formation, exact team instructions with how how we beat them that time we beat them. When we beat them 2-1, this is the formation we played. That midfield three was pretty much exactly the same. We had Tavares and Zancela up front playing as a false nine and a poacher. And we had the wing backs on complete wing back support. In theory, we should have a better team now. They probably do as well, granted. But in theory, we've got a better team than when we beat them 2-1. So this is how we line up. The lacking goal, Pausic, Karic, Kavcic and Suarez is in the back four. Suarez actually a left back, so that should be an improvement on the goal we've had to play there recently. Takax is the half back. Williams, Barman and Dak in the centre midfield positions are probably strongest centre midfield we can put out. Bojan as a false nine. Abo Hernandez up front as a poacher. On the bench, two strikers, Misovic and Muset. Two wingers, Watmore and Moses. 
two defenders, Hormigo and Gusek, and the goalkeeper, Milos La. Into the breach we go. If we move me back over, oh, wee, woo, wee, woo, there we go. They line up in a 4-2-3-1. Courtois in goal. Pedro Pereira, De Vries, Jimenez and Azpilicueta at the back. Kovacevic and Sol in the middle. Florenzi, Bernardo Silva and Hazard sit behind the striker who is Matias Pereira. So, with the kickoff then. Abo Hernandez back to Bradley Dak. Out to Suarez. Up to Dak. Barman. What can we do? Nothing. Corner then. Pausic swings in. Karic is there! We'll 1-0 up against Chelsea. Yes! Come on. Come on, we're already playing on counter-attack, so we won't change anything there. But as the corner comes in, it was Pouch, it swings it into the box. Carriage. Oh, on the volley, given so much space, the marking was terrible, and we are off to an absolute flyer. Come on. Delac with the ball out, looking to Williams. Williams runs forward with it, does pretty well. Oh, he's beating his man. What can he do? Finds Bojan, who lays it off to Bradley Dak. He shoots from, yeah, pretty shit angle, to be fair. Shouldn't really be shooting from there. Pedro Pereira with a long throw. Barman heads clear. He probably could have brought that down, to be honest. He needs better communication from the people behind him. De Vrij, Pedro Pereira to Azpilicueta. If we can nick it here, we could get a counter. But Hazard brings it forward to Saul. Saul to Kovacevic. Azpilicueta. Saul. Mateus P. Who's Mateus P? Oh, Mateus Pereira. I was like, I can't remember going through their lineup and saying someone called Mateus. Yeah, Pereira, sorry. Suarez, Kovacic, we're playing it around the back as long as we don't do anything stupid. That's fine from Delac and Hernandez brings it down well but Pereira out to Hazard. He's through Delac with a good save. All action this game, all action. Hazard with a corner. It's again, it's poor and Barman heads it straight back to him and the second cross is just as poor as the first and Delac easily catches it. Bernardo has it. Back to Kovacic, into Pereira. Pereira out wide to the other Pereira and he's whoa, forced Delac into a save with the cross shot thing. Florenzi headed clear from Tukax and hopefully we can just see this out. If we put Florenzi on the pressure, ball in, Kovacevic shots blocked and it's hoofed clear. Okay, half an hour gone, just over half an hour gone and Chelsea come at us again. Florenzi loses out to Suarez. What will he do? To Tukax short. Just play a nice simple ball. That's fine. Up the line to Bojan. Bojan runs with it. Good ball forward to Dak. Dak has got Williams inside him. It's Barman. Hernandez shoots and Courtois gets down well. Probably a quite easy save, but it's um, all positive stuff at Lorenzi. He beats his man. Across comes in. Kovacevic. Good save from Delac. And it's tense. It's very tense. Florenzi. Yes, Delac. Well out. Good hands there from the goalkeeper. Williams has it, but he couldn't control it. And it's gone to Azpilicueta. Pereira brings it into Hazard. Hazard beats one. Bernardo's in. It's got to be a goal, and it is. There was no way he was stopping that. Bernardo Silva makes it 1-1. Good play there from Hazard. Put a nice little ball through into Bernardo Silva, as we see it here. Cuts inside. Little left foot toe poke pass. Bernardo, little dink. There we go, into the top corner. Lovely finish. It's 1-1. Okay, we're into half time, and I, I can't complain. We have been playing really well. Um, I'm going to again go with the revenge talk Bojan isn't really enjoying that false nine roll so we might have to bring him off in a minute and mix it up I'm going to also mix it with the I have faith passionate team talk that is so popular on Football Manager and I'm really hoping that we can get something out of this game because boy do we need it in this group we need something and we've scored a goal so that was one of the objectives I wanted getting into this group we've just got to keep going at them though Bojan brings it forward into Hernandez what's he got Williams Back into Hernandez to Barman. Barman shoots from range and Courtois pulls off a save. So it was a good effort, forcing Thibaut Courtois into a save. With the corner, Pausic, ball in. Looking for Williams, who is an absolute midget. But Suarez picks it up. Back to Pausic. Cuts in field to Karic. Karic is holding on to it. And what can he do? He keeps it to Barman. Dak. Bojan makes a little move, but he's ignored. But another highlight, Hernandez. Oh, slip it in. Oh, God, Williams has picked it up. Slip it in. Oh, Dak's had a go from range. Twice there, the ball could have gone to Bojan or Hernandez, and they favoured a long shot. The Cax with the header, it's gone back to Pedro Pereira. Ball into Bernardo Silva, shot is blocked, and Chelsea win a corner. They have come much more into this game since they scored. Barman again gets the header away at the near post. But it's Florenzi, back to Juanapi. De Vrij on the head, Bernardo Silva, out to Azpilicueta. They're keeping the ball very well here, Chelsea. Abel Hernandez comes storming in from behind him. Got something on the ball according to the commentary and Suarez has given away a stupid free kick on the edge. Luckily, we're not made to pay. Just clicked into the hour. 
and we're going to do a double substitution up front. And it's going to be Misovic is going to be complete forward on support. Move set is going to come on as a poacher for fresh legs. And we'll leave it like that. And we're going to tell them both that we have faith in them. And hopefully they'll listen. Seemed in a positive mood. Looks delighted. Felt encouraged by the continued positive feedback. Come on, Misovic, lad. That's what we want. That is what we like to hear. Let's get in there. So double substitution for the strikers has now happened. 20 minutes to go. William swings in a free kick. It's fallen to Takak. Shoot. Oh, Courtois with a save. Kovacevic keeps it in. And he's tackled and we want to throw high up the pitch. Nothing came from it though. But right down the other end is Chelsea. And again, Barman's there to head away at the near post. Dak. He's given it away. Oh no. And Bernardo Silva into Hazard. Well on Palsic. Good header. But don't lose him now. As Pelaqueta to Saul. To Bernardo Silva. Out to Pedro Pere. He's going to put one up in. He has. Crosses in. And Mateus Pereira shot straight at the lack. Bradley Dak. Ball in. Kavacic. It's fallen to Barman. Oh my god. He didn't put it in. Somehow he didn't put it in and Saul cleared it for a corner. Palsic. Palsic with the ball in. As we head to heads it behind for another corner. And Palsic isn't going to take this one because that was terrible. This one, the duties fall to Karic, our centre-back. We'll have another corner taker. There we go. Number nine. That's Bradley Dak. At least a small midfielder can take it rather than one of our towering centre-backs. Bradley Dak. Swings it in. He was looking for Takax, but Courtois is there for an easy catch. Going to make our final sub. Christopher Barman is looking knackered in the middle, but we haven't got anyone that I can bring on for him. This is where the injuries are telling, because this is where I'd bring Loftus-Cheek on to sit in the midfield. Do you know what? There's 10 minutes left. We're playing well. I'm not going to change anything. Pick that up to Cax. He has. What can you do with it? Out to Suarez. Suarez infield to Williams. Williams shoots from range, and Courtois with another save. We've given them a game. We have given them a game. And Bayern Munich are smashing Madrid 4-1 at the moment. Bradley Dak then, to swing it in, he does, just over the header to Cax, can Palsic get there, he does, but he's tackled, but he's fouled, a dangerous free kick that we can swing into the box, but obviously nothing came of it, this game is just the fact that we haven't been able to get our strikers into the game has hurt us, but a one all draw, we get a point on the board in the group of death, depth, death, in the group of death we get a point on the board, and I am really happy with that, I'm really happy, so well done lads, Really good result. There it is. One point on the board. One goal. We're in. We've got Chelsea again next in the Champions League. I'm happy. I'm, I am happy for that. Sven Karic gets man of the match because of his goal, which is very good. Gives us a little bit of money as well. And we'll be back for the game against Triglav, which is one after this. So I will chat to you guys in a bit. Hello. Right. Welcome back. So I was about to do the full on NK Maribor episode intro thing there. But I got a bit carried away. Right, it's the cup. Quarterfinals. We love this cup. We've won this cup loads of times. And I fucking hate it when we don't win it. So we're going to go out there and win it. But I am playing some of the backup slash kids players. So Delac keeps his place in goal. We've obviously reverted back to our normal formation, as you can see. Ahmad comes in at right back. Hormigo and Pavlin make up the back centre-backs. The back centre-backs. There's a new one for you in the terms of football. Look that up in your little football glossary. Oh yes, back centre-backs. You're an idiot, Dave. Gusek is coming in at left back because the only fit left back we've got available in all of our squads, that's first team, under 18s and the B team, is Suarez, who's on the bench because he's currently 82% fit. So, yep, again, a right back plays at left back. Rosman, the youngster, comes in at the half back. The midfield three is a little bit of a concern because they're all pretty young. It's Rosman, Tomic and Gilla who... A lot of you, I don't think, would have seen played before. Because I don't think we've had a game where they've all played together. But from there on, we play Moses on the right, Watmore on the left. And the other youngster, Ajelak, comes in up front. And because he can't do anything else other than advance forward, that's what he's going to play as. A very strong bench sees us with Misovic, Hernandez, Bojan, Muset, Barman, Kavcic and Suarez. No goalkeeper on the bench, so let's hope that doesn't backfire. And we kick off then. Interestingly enough, both of those youngsters in the middle of the park, not Rosman, the other two, Gilla and Tomic, have both come to me saying they want to go out on loan to get more first team football. And I've frankly just gone, no, stop. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You're not going anywhere. I know how to manage my team. And we've given away a penalty, which is a good start. Duncan Watmore pushing someone over. Like the dickhead that he is. Yes, Delac. Great save. Lovely save from the penalty. That will relieve Duncan Watmore. Uh, yeah, they both came moaning about first team football. And I said, no, nah, you're not going on loan. You're better suited here. Shut up, pretty much. And 
they stop moaning. So this is their chance to impress, and at the moment they're not really doing it. We're 20 minutes in, we've had one highlight, and we're on key, uh, extended, sorry. We've had two highlights, both of them have gone to them, one was a penalty, and the second one they've just hit the post. Moses brings it away, what are we doing here on the counter-attack? That's a terrible foul, get him off, send him off right now. You cannot chop Victor Moses down from behind like that, disgusting. A lecture? A lecture? Fuck me, he's just wiped him out from behind, ref. You're blind? Do you want these? Bloody hell. Disgraceful. Perga then, into Stuka. Udovic. Good save and Blackby. Spilt it and Pop Latnik, which is quite a good name, has uh, put Trigler up one up. And the kids are failing me at the moment. As we see it in glorious 3D, Udovic then has a shot. Delac, captain for the day, basically runs into the post so he can't save it properly. And um, Pop Blatnik puts in the rebound. This is shit, isn't it? Rosman picks up that ball. Good interception. Long ball, which... Why is he doing that? What more couldn't control it because he's a twat and he's already given away a penalty. This is frustrating. We play so well against Chelsea. I give the kids a chance and they just go and fuck it up. I mean, look at that front three. That is abysmal. I want to see a much better showing in the second half. Um, AX, he's, he's not even going to get the chance to see out that half. He's, Misovic is coming on. We're going back to a complete forward. Gusek can't be blamed. He's not a left back. But the Tomic, terrible game. Absolutely terrible. In fact, you're coming off as well. You haven't taken your chance. Brutal, I know. But Barman's coming on. What more on Moses? I'm coming for you next. So, fuck your bloody ideas up, boys. I was on a high as well after that Chelsea result. Oh, yeah. The game in between, we won 1-0. We beat Goodisa 1-0. We absolutely smashed them. Moses then to Barman. He's tackle. He's playing as well as the bloody youngster that he replaced. Oh, God. He's just run through like three people. Tackle him. Get the ball. There we go. What more? What can you do with it? He runs at them. I mean, it's Triglav, isn't it? We hate Triglav. Triglav are my bogey team. We know that. I shouldn't have taken them so lightly. Gila. Into what more? Misovic. Oh, he shoots just wide. Moses. Infield to Barman. Barman to Gila. Or Gila. Barman. Shot is blocked. But we're playing better. Taking off Tomic seems to have made the difference. Gusek then. Ball in. It's fucking off. I mean, he didn't even have to head it. He could control it, the defender. The controller controlled the corner and ran the way, ran away with it. Right, Victor Moses has done shit all, so he's coming off. Set is going to come on that right wing, because at least he's fast. And he scored two goals from that position before, so... Uh, other than his start of the season, Victor Moses hasn't really impressed that much. I got a bit hyped up by how he started the season. But Misovic into gear, Barman, what can he do? He's tackled, but it's all to Misovic, who just hit it first time. I'm so happy this is only the first leg, because we get another chance to... Go at them again and batter them. If we don't score from this highlight, there's going to be radical changes to the team instructions so that we move the ball quicker and forward more. Moose set. What the f... Unbelievable. I mean, they've hoofed it. Delac's come a long way. He's cleared it. This is a shot. Oh, right. Lads, what are we playing at? Mixed pass in. We're already playing higher. Much higher tempo. Let's get balanced. Let's close them down sometimes. Let's get stuck in. Let's get in their faces. And let's go attacking. Why not? Let's really get at them. This has been abysmal. Shouldn't be, Trigla have got bloody relegated last year as well. Sorry, I'm getting very passionate about this game. I just don't like losing to teams like Trigla. Rebernik puts it in. It's headed clear. No one's there to pick up the rebound. Kanalik, good tackle from Gia. Right, what can we do here? He runs forward to it. Good ball over to Musa. This is why I bought you on. That's not why I bought you on. You don't pay four million for someone like that. Uh, yeah, my board are a bit annoyed by that transfer. It's not financially good for the club, apparently. Gusek, good ball up, but he's headed clear. What more? Oh, for God. How many times does it just look like it hits him and falls down? Misovic is in behind. Square it. Square it to Musek. Yes, the 4 million signing gets us in the game. 82nd minute and it's 1-1. Yes. I'm not saying it proves why you should play 4 million for someone like that, but... He scored a bloody goal when we needed him to. Misovic did well. Good left footed cross in. Moveset's there. I mean, he's not He's not meant that as he's thighed or need that in. I'll tell you right now, in the second leg, the youngsters are not getting a game. It's full strength team. We're going for the win. What more? Oh, God. He's had a terrible game. He's been our, probably one of our player of the seasons up until this point as well. But, right, Gia boots his man. He puts it in. Duncan Watmore... How he's on a 6.8, I'll never know. I'm mad. I don't know why he's taking it that short to Hamigo, but that's going to be it. We'll take a 1-1 draw away. I mean, we've oh, 14 shots, three on target we had. 
That was not good. Demotivated. Tomic. Good. You were fucking awful. You weren't your best today. You deserve to come up. Fired up. At least he's responded to that pretty well. Well, they missed the penalty and they went 1-1. But there we go. That'll be that for now. As I said, we're actually going to be back for the next Chelsea game, which is one game offline. And then we'll be back. And we are rolling into the episode, I think it'll be like 42 or something around then. I've probably got that wrong. But we're nearly at half a century of episodes, which is mightily impressive. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's a pleasure again. Please keep leaving your comments. Tell me, let me know if you're enjoying the series, what you'd like me to do differently, if anything. Other things you'd like to see or like to know, let me know down below. I'll chat to you guys in a bit. Thank you very much for watching. I'm out. Cheers.